All right, it's Tuesday night. We just took a little cruise in the Mustang and uh, got it outside that garage door. And uh, going to do a little painting. Hopefully this will be the last paint work we're doing on uh, on these parts anyway. I uh, see so we got the gas tank painted white as the primary color. And we mask it all off in the, going to paint the uh, dished area. Doing a little two-tone job on the uh, fenders because uh, over here at the Turbo Cobra Garage, we're the home of the two-tone two-tone paint jobs over here. Everything's got to be two-tone. Uh, we're going to paint these wheels and uh, so we painted the hubs white, the spokes will be white, and these wheels are going to be the rim part of the wheel or will be the uh, light aqua color. And I keep telling myself somehow or another I'm going to like this color, but uh, I keep on not liking it. But anyway, hopefully we get it on there uh, instead of being a primary color. Um, it's going to be on there more of as an accent color that uh, we'll like it better. So uh, we've got a few bare metal spots on our wheels where we did some sanding. Going to come back and uh, hit those with some epoxy. And then uh, we will uh, come back and put the color on all the parts. Um, this gas tank, man, gave me a lot of grief. I painted this sucker. Uh, Musty One commented and said something about uh, But I was about going blind after, after painting that. Um, and it was it was a real pain. It kept running, you know. There's uh, this dished area has a sharp edge all the way around it, and it seemed like it wanted to run off of that edge almost every time. And uh, you know, Slow SRT is a great resource. Uh, you can always uh, PM him or reach out to him, and you know he's uh, he's pretty quick to tell you what you did wrong. And uh, if you ask him a question like, uh, you know. What's the best way to get a get a run out of a gas tank? And he basically said, "Don't put runs in it." You know, so that's the kind of uh, great advice you get, and uh, you always come away feeling really inspired and motivated. And uh, and he's never uh, never short on words and never hesitant to uh, tell you what you did wrong. So Matt, as always, uh, appreciate all the all the advice and the hard work uh, and all the advice and the great information. All right, Matt's a good friend of mine. I always uh, appreciate what he has to say. And so we're going to get cleaned up, pick up some of this masking and sweep up. And probably won't sweep up. We'll just not disturb the dust that's on the floor and hopefully get away with it. So, all right, we'll throw you up on the camera stand and uh, film a little paintwork. All right, well, our little rigged up fan sure doesn't do a very good job of removing overspray. You can see it all in here. You're about to see some more here in a minute. Um, James Freddie's Jeff from photo finish or wherever he works now uh, said hey why don't you try some paint sticks underneath those fenders and you might like that better and uh, so we'll see if that keeps those from sticking right there or bridging and uh, so we give these a wipe we got these I was just going to spot these in uh, with epoxy uh, we're at Santa to bare metal but I don't know I just it's so small and hard to there were so many little ridges and areas I just went ahead and reprime resealed the whole thing um, so, uh, yep, got some paint mixed up over here, or we're, we're about to mix it up, and, uh, God, dang it, man, I just, this color is just killing me. I mixed up two or three different cut shades of blue and posted them on Facebook, and, you know, there was one shade that was uh, more of a bluish, but it was still a light color like this that people like better, but a lot of people like this one, so, uh, just going to go with it, you know, I'm probably going to hate it after it, but uh, if I do, hey. We'll sand it down and uh, repaint it with something else. All right, we're going to set you up and uh, get the spray in and uh, bring you back when we get to uh, paint these things. All right, we've got the... Uh, Segola, uh, detail gun, touch up gun with a 1.0 tip. So we're going to go ahead and get started spraying.
All right, well, we put all the masking off and uh, we uh, got it all finished up. We went ahead and dusted on one light coat of the Hot Rod Flats Light Aqua and then came back with a good wet coat. And I think we got pretty good coverage and didn't have too much build. Had a good tip from uh, Slow SRT, as you know, as, as mean and rude as he can be. Uh, sometimes he's got some good tips. He told me to go ahead and uh, pull the masking off uh, while uh, while this stuff was still tacky. So I let it sit for about 20 minutes and then pulled the masking off and uh, didn't have any issues. I actually had one little tiny spot. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. Just a little bit of bleed under, but we're gonna leave that. And over here we had one little issue. Uh, don't know if it'll pick up. Yeah, there it is. Just the very beginnings of a run that started there. And you know, that's what I asked the question of is when you when you have a run, you know, what should you do about it? And the only information I got from Slow SRT was uh, you know, don't get a run. Well, you know, that wasn't my question. What if I get a run? What do I do? But uh, anyway. It, it actually, I dabbed it with a paper towel um, there and kept it from turning into a ball. So it, uh, it's going to pass for a bicycle, a motorcycle, and we'll let it ride. So, all right, that's it. Finally got the, got the two-tone paint scheme here that we were looking for. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good. So we'll uh, wrap it up. Thanks, everybody.